All right, beautiful people of Facebook. Once again, this is Jose Trujillo, I'm the world's greatest living artist. Yeah. <laughs> Coming to you from the art studio with an awesome Starbucks pie place. Mm. Can't wait for, uh, what's his name? Howard Schultz, sponsorship. <laughs> Bringing in the Starbucks to the, to the studio. A little, little, uh, Imagine? That'd be so awesome. Anyways. Have my own barista. Have <laughs> my own barista. So, I'm going to do a, a landscape painting here. Very colorful. Colorist. It's called, the style is called colorist. Or the, the, the way we use the paint here. And just another little reminder to keep it cool. Keep it, keep it bright. Keep it awesome. Keep it moving. Do that work, you want to keep it moving. That is very important. Okay. What I mean is is don't don't get stuck at oh the red. The red, 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 here, the red, the red. No. Nope. Jump onto the next color. Jump onto the next object. Why? It needs movement. As I explained many times in other videos, it needs movement because paralysis is always what you're trying to do is it's not it's not paralysis. That's what really you're trying to do. I remember uh, uh, reading about um, a great uh, marketer. His name uh, was uh, he passed away not so long ago, some, some years ago. His name was uh, Harry uh, Gary Halbert. Gary Halbert. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Halbert. He used to say that he he never experienced writer's block. He was a marketer, uh, marketing uh, copywriter. He said he, he never experienced an uh, artist block. And the way he explained it was so perfectly. I have never, it was the first time that I actually had heard someone uh, really point to it, really, really dissect it. And you, you know, not, not dissect it, but you know, like really point to it. And I've never heard anyone done it. You know? And he said, the, 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 the secret is I don't stop writing. And you're like, well, duh, right? He's like, no, I, even if I don't know what to start writing, he's like, or if I get in a block, I'll start, I'll get a, a sheet of paper and I'll start just going, I don't know what to write, blah, 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 blah. He's like, because what you're doing is you're creating, you know, you, you, you want to continue the stream. And it's a shame, <laughs> well, not a shame, but it is, that, um, Many artists don't understand that, and a copywriter, you know, uh, 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 someone who, very creative, of course, you have to be very creative to, to be able to create these messages, um, but not an artist, you know, I, I was, I was kind of, I had to get this kind of ideas from other people who were not artists. I didn't learn it from artists. Artists are usually the, um, have an artist block, uh, I'll just take a break. And that is the worst thing you can do. Take a break when you have an artist block. Now, if you have anxiety or something else, that's different, okay? But an artist block usually doesn't come from that. An artist block usually comes from overthinking it. And when you overthink too much, too much, then it, 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 it turns into anxiety. So at that point, now you have to take a break. At that point, now you have to, you know, you have to do something else. I don't know, whatever you need to do. Um, Usually, as I explained in the video before, I slow down. I don't stop. I just slow down. Unless I know I am physically tired. Physically tired is very different. Sometimes you may not recognize it, especially if you, if you do this for a living. You may not recognize that you're physically tired and you might be thinking that it's something else. That it's like you have a block, you, you have an artist block or something. It's, it might not be that. Check to see if you've rested well, if you've slept well, if you're eating well. You know, check to see those things first because nine out of ten, it's usually allergies <laughs> or I'm physically tired when I feel like I have an artist block, and I and I know I don't have an artist block because I power through them. I don't I don't allow that. I, that's not even part of my lingo. So, so nine out of ten, I discover that that when I feel like oh man, I don't know what I'm doing, blah 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 blah, it's because I am tired and I need to rest. I need to sleep well, eat well. Do some exercise, and um, and then start again. 
So maybe it'll help one or two of you guys. <laughs> How's it going, Joe? <laughs> Thank you for joining in to the awesome uh, artist uh, segment here. Let's paint something live while I get to chit chat. Call it my, my, my rant. Some people say, oh, I love your commentaries. I'm, I'm so glad you guys looked at, look at them as, as commentary. Like, you know, some sort of value. Because I'm usually just kind of, you know, just rambling about. Well, I can't really do any, any uh, very smart intellectual thinking when I'm painting because I, I just can't. So my stuff is very raw when I paint and when I talk. <laughs> it's hard to, to try to, to think and do something at the same time. You can't. You either think or you do something with quality anyways. So if you see me you know, pausing somewhere, it's because I'm trying to re-engage in what is most important, which is the painting I'm creating, of course. The commentary is secondary. But I love doing my commentaries. <laughs> so there we go, guys. Something as simple as that. You know, something as simple as that allows us to... Maybe you don't paint like this, you know, maybe this is not your, your cup of tea. Right? Maybe this is not your, your, the way you, you see artwork. That's fine. But I invite you to, to, uh, to at least uh, see what you don't like about it so that you don't make those mistakes in whatever you do. <laughs> I, uh, I love learning from different artists. A lot of the stuff that I, that I, that I, this, here's a little, here's a little, uh, a little uh, nugget for, for some people that like what I do and are, are, are trying to learn how to paint in a loose brush style. I learn a lot from old masters. I don't, I don't necessarily like to get my stuff from, from new painters. Here's a reason. It's because I believe that old masters, uh, and I'm not talking about famous painters, okay? Cause, just because they're famous doesn't mean that they're old masters, in my opinion. Um, they painters that, that painted for a, for a long period of time. I've said this in other videos because they um, discovered things through experience. They're elders, you know. They're painting elders, if you want to call it that. You know, <laughs> they're almost like artist shamans. <laughs> they they already broke certain paradigms that a, a young artist doesn't understand. You know, it's it's not that they got good at what they did, it's that they even they even transcended the whole idea of good, of being good. They became pure. I really do believe it's it's a, it's a bit of a, a an alchemist approach, turning raw base metal, you know, into something, into something uh, wonderful. What we call the. Uh, the work, the art, you know, in Spanish, it's, it's, we, we can point at it easily, more easily, we call it a, a obra, obra, the work of art. It means, it encompasses all of the works of art, not just one painting. La obra means all the body of work is what I'm trying to say. So when you see a, an, an old master uh, and, and you start looking at when they started, when they were younger, and then as they, as they progressed, Rembrandt is a good one. Uh, Velázquez is another great one. Uh, I would even put Manet in there. I definitely put Manet in there. I would put Delacroix in there. If you, if you start seeing um, how they progressed uh, and how they approach artwork in their later years, it became a more abstract and more uh, refined way of um, of creating artwork more loose every time they became more loose even even if they claim to be more more uh, realistic they became more loose a great example of that is is our our one and only chuck close 
If you see his work, his work was very hyper-realistic when he started. He hasn't gone away from realism, but he became more loose in his approach. You know, he became more, um, more and more they become pure, I think. They start peeling off uh, the things that are unnecessary. It's really, that's what it is. Artists start peeling off unnecessary things and leaving only that one thing that could really that really transcends the one thing that could, uh, that is worth keeping the true thing many times the true thing doesn't look like the true thing to to people anyways i'll leave you guys with that the name is jose Trujillo. i hope you guys have enjoyed this little session <laughs> right Absolutely, absolutely, Joe. It's the limitation also, not, not just the, the, the mindset, uh, not just the, the materials, but the mindset, the limitation of the mindset, because, because they were, they were uh, limited uh, also uh, conceptually. And, and uh, uh, you know, they, they didn't have complete uh, freedom from society either. That was another limitation. Uh, not just uh, um, the limitations that were happening in their in their society, their governments, the the palettes they work with, the conditions, right? Their studio, their conditions, all of that, and it's all sorts of things that they had to overcome. And 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 I think that we have all those things so available to us. I mean, I just think about them when they needed to clean brushes or whatever the the, the work they had to go through. Or, or having a, a canvases made and all of that. I mean, how easily, readily available they are to us. But they had something that many of us still don't have, which is, which is the power, the, the spirit, to, to push through. And that is the thing that we all, I think, should work towards. I think it's more important to have that than to have a new canvas. <laughs> Church for sure. <laughs> for sure they had a they had a problem with that. So I'll leave you with that. Thank you so much, Joe. I appreciate it. And guys, if you uh if you found any value in this, I invite you to uh please share. Share the work, share the, the post and with people within your page or whatever, or people that you think that might get some sort of value from this. The name is Jose Trujillo. Let me do a little showcase of my palette. Guys, have fun and paint on. Bye bye.